These are the best old Lanky Box videos ever. We try weird kitchen gadgets, buy insane Amazon products, and we even eat a super rare one of a kind ramen noodle. Make sure you don't miss out on the never before seen Lanky Box animation at the end of this video. Let's, Let's go. go. Panini Maker. <laughs> Why is okay. this dumb? This is awesome. <laughs> okay. Have you ever made a panini? No, I have not. <laughs> so a panini is basically like a sandwich, I guess. I don't I've never made a oh, panini. I thought this was gonna make a song by Lil Nas X. <laughs> oh, it's a sandwich? <laughs> Lil Nas X did not use this to make his song. How do you know that? I asked him. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you guys were cool like that. <laughs> we're okay. not. Oh, oh. I don't have friends. <laughs> Yeah, I feel sad. <laughs> you open it like this. Whoa! And basically you put like bread, some cheese, some meat maybe. You close it up and then it makes like the perfect sandwich. Let's go! Okay, I have some panini bread and some meat and some cheese. Okay, let's go. Dude, this bread is huge. <laughs> this bread is bigger than my head. <laughs> okay, this one's gonna be pretty cheesy. I can already tell. It's a cheesy panini. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add some cheese. Dude, this is, this is insane. Man, yes. careful. Okay, close it down. Oh, dude, oh, do you it's hear sizzling. that? It's sizzling. Okay, it's starting to ooze out the side. Okay, let's I think open it's it. done. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh! oh wait, that's sick, dude. The cheese is melting. Let's get it out. Okay. This looks like a giant potato chip. <laughs> like ruffles, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you, wait, this dude. is so good. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> Guys, this is amazing. Dude. Okay, we gotta try it. Okay. Three. Dude, do you think we can eat this in one bite? Uh <laughs> I'm an eating expert. <laughs> But I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> okay. Three, okay. Two, one. This is so good. No, Adam, that was amazing. Yeah. But I'm gonna come in and make my own panini. You think you make it better than this? <laughs> There's no way. I'm pretty sure I can. I'm gonna come in. With some weenies! <laughs> so you already know what are, this is about to be. Are those just mini hot dogs? Yes, also known as weenies. <laughs> I'm about to come in and make a weenie panini. <laughs> Why do you think this is going to be a good idea? You don't think it's going to be good? No. How is it's a weenie panini? <laughs> just because it rhymes doesn't mean it's good. If it sounds good in our heads, <laughs> it's going to taste good in your okay, mouth. Okay, let's try it, let's I go. guess. Let's go. Not gonna oh, work. Man. I'm gonna put all the weenies on top of this panini. <laughs> oh man. You are being a meanie <laughs> to my weenie panini. I don't like it. Dude, the weenies are falling out. Why are you being such a meanie to my weenie panini? You are now a beanie wearing meanie <laughs> to my weenie panini. I could make this sandwich even better. Really? Yes, I could. I'm actually gonna come in with some zucchini. <laughs> so now I got some zucchinis for my weenie paninis. Are you kidding me? Does this look like a joke to you? So I'm gonna open this back up. Now I have a zucchini weenie panini. And you are still... <laughs> A meanie with a beanie. <laughs> Justin, this this panini is going to look like trash. You know what? <laughs> and then I'm gonna come in. Oh no! With some fettuccine no. for my zucchini weenie panini. Justin, just because it rhymes does not mean it's gonna be good. I'm gonna take some fettuccine, put it on top. Are you kidding me? I am not kidding you. This is now a fettuccine zucchini. Weenie, weenie panini, you little beanie meanie. <laughs> Justin, this is so stupid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, then, what if I one up the fettuccine with some linguine? Justin. And now I have a. Where are you getting these things from? I have a lot of food on me, Adam. <laughs> that rhymes with panini? Yes, I do. Now I have a linguine fettuccine zucchini teeny weeny panini for your little beanie meanie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you kidding me? I'm going in for a big bite. <laughs> mm -hmm. How is it? 
<laughs> okay, I guess you're right. This was a dumb product after all. Okay, Adam McMeany with the beanie. You didn't like my linguini, fettuccine, zucchini, teeny, weeny, panini. No, I did not like it. And as a result, what if we make an iPhone panini? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, what? Wait, use your phone. <laughs> I'm not gonna put my phone in a panini maker. But you're gonna put mine? <laughs> yes. Okay, Adam, I'm gonna take a photo of you real quick. Say cheese. <laughs> and now that he said cheese, I'm gonna put you Wait. on top of the no. cheese. No. Are you kidding? <laughs> and no. close up the machine. Dude, no. It's hot. <laughs> dude, it's hot. Dude, it's sizzling. <laughs> my phone is actually in there. Oh, no way. No way. No way. What? I think I'm here. I hear the phone ringing. I cannot believe we cooked Adam's iPhone into this sandwich. No. Okay, okay. Oh, Are you kidding me? Adam say cheese. <laughs> He's still ringing. No way. Who is it? It's Lil Nas <laughs> He's calling you with a panini. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, no, I'm just chilling with this panini. Stop eating now. <laughs> I actually bit your iPhone. <laughs> Dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is my phone. Yes? It's not my fault. How is this not your fault? You had to answer Lil you Nas. Just, no, you just did that for three minutes. How is it not your fault? This is all your fault. Huh? If you were not in my life, I would still have a useful iPhone. If you were not in my life, <laughs> I would be allowed outside this room. <laughs> so you have lost your iPhone, and I have lost my freedom. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, I actually have a good idea for this panini maker. Okay. I have color changing putty huh? that changes when you heat it up. It'll like turn different colors. What if we put this color changing putty into the panini <laughs> maker? Okay, let's do it. Okay, do let's it. try it at the end because that might destroy this. Okay, okay. So we're going to try that at the end. But for now, Justin, how much do you think we paid for this panini maker? I would say $35. Okay, we're going to lock that in and we're going to move on to the next product right now, which is this popcorn fountain. Wait, this is sick. Okay, this is a really cool product where basically you pour unpopped popcorn in here and it creates like a fountain of popcorn. Okay, I'll lift this up. Okay, then I guess you just plug it in. Okay. Hey. Dude, it's really hot. Explode? It's really hot. Oh, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna try. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, this is crazy. Wait, that tastes so good. This is super good. This is so cool. This is definitely more fun than using a microwave. Yeah. But, dude, that was kind of scary when it first started popping. Dude, I could imagine us going to, like, a party and bringing this and turning it on. Uh -huh. And then we'd be, like, the coolest kids at the party. Because uh -huh. we'd have our own popcorn maker. Right. And I'm about to come in with his cringe line. <laughs> okay. hey, hey, guys. <laughs> Let's get this party <laughs> popping. <laughs> Do your dance. Do it! I'm popping and locking! <laughs> okay, what if I come in with some hot Cheetos? No, no, okay. Dude. I'm gonna take this bag, mash it up. I'm gonna call it some backup. <laughs> Me, I, says, I'm not a Kobe Cheeto. Says, this could be you next. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you just crush those up? I'm going to take some more popcorn kernels. Okay. But then I'm also going to pour in some flaming hot Cheetos. No. Yes. Dude, that's going to explode. Why? As a finishing touch, I'm going to put in some red pepper flakes. Justin, this is not going to work. Yes, it is, Adam. That's going to be so spicy. I genuinely do not think we're supposed to do this. Huh. It's not meant for Cheetos. <laughs> it's already malfunctioning. It's okay. That was a fluke. Oh. Wait, it actually stopped working. Wait, wait, not wait, like wait, 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 wait. It's still plugged in. Wait. There, there's no Dude. off But We actually broke I'm it. I'm a genius. No, you're not. It was too spicy. The machine said, nope, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Dude, wait, it actually broke. This is indeed a dumb kitchen gadget. It yeah. broke after one use. Yeah. Guys, this has never happened before on the show. I told you your stupid Cheeto popcorn idea would not work. Take it back! No. 
<laughs> Little helicopter Cheeto boy. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't take it back. Wow. <laughs> now, Justin, how much do you think we paid for this popcorn maker? I would say this is $25. Okay, we're gonna buy the next product right now, which are these magic soda caps. Magic soda caps? Okay, yeah, so this turns a normal can of soda into a water bottle that you can close <laughs> and save for later. Ow. There's no way to close a normal can of soda, right? No. Now watch, I'm gonna take one of these lids. Uh-huh. I'm gonna put it on the can like that. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what, 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 what is that? Okay, now wait, wait, try drinking from Wait, it. this is genius. And then you can close it back up? This actually works. It doesn't spill. Hold it upside down. It, I, it does not spill. Oh, it, you idiot. <laughs> it spills a little bit. No, okay. You were so confident. I thought it would work. Okay, cool. Wait, I want to try it now. I'm going to try it. Okay, cool. It's okay. also like weirdly satisfying seeing a can of Coke as like a bottle. Yeah. I don't know. Is this supposed to fully seal it though? Because, okay, I mean, this is really cool actually. Yeah. But will it work if I just, if I screw it really tight? Oh, what was that? <laughs> Dude, what was that? I don't know, it just popped off. Wait, that was terrifying. Wait, that gives me an idea though. If you just shake it really hard. Please don't. It was because of the bubbles. Please do not shake it, <laughs> Justin. Got it. Ah! Dude. Dude, wait, this is fun. Uh, uh, what? Oh, <laughs> that's kind of sick. I'm making a rocket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Dude, how are you so dumb? How is it po Every time we do a show, I'm like, he cannot get any dumber. And then you make a soda top <laughs> <man. laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait, what else could we use this on? I don't know. I have a great idea. So I'm just gonna come in with a melon. Okay. Okay, check this out, Adam. Wait, you're gonna make a melon water bottle? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, wait. okay. Wait. <laughs> now I'm gonna try and take a quick drink from my watermelon water bottle. No Here way. Here we go. No way. Are you kidding? Are you kidding oh! me? Oh, it totally worked. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's chunks of melon falling out. Dude, this is so cool. Dude, that looks insane. This bottle cap actually reminds me of when I was younger. And my mom actually took me to this soda store. And we got a bunch of soda together. And I actually remember one of the flavors was watermelon. And I was in charge of holding them on the way home. But in the car, they got really bumpy. And so I accidentally shook up the soda. So that night, we had a soda party. Uh, with, yeah. <laughs> I had a soda party with me and my mom and all my two dogs and we oh, took turns oh. but when it was my turn to open the soda <laughs> when it was my turn to open the soda they, <laughs> they all exploded Whoa. all over me and it was so funny because me and my mom were just laughing at the soda Whoa. and she said oops don't watch out for the soda. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then that's why every time I drink soda today, I just think back to that watermelon soda with me and my mom. Did you hear the story? Did you hear the, the story I just told? Dude, when I pour the soda in the top, it comes out this side. <laughs> Dude. Wait, what, what about the story I just told? Story? Yeah, I was talking for like a minute. Adam. I just made a watermelon plumbing system. <laughs> and you talking about some story. <laughs> Dude. So you weren't listening to that at all? I don't think you grasped <laughs> the gravity of what I've just invented here. Let me make this very clear for you. I'm gonna pour soda in the top and it's gonna come out this side of a melon. <laughs> I don't think you understand, Adam. Yeah. Now, what did you want to say? I was just saying about how I love soda with me and my mom and how it was one of the best times of my life. <laughs> what are you doing? But I guess this is cool, too. 
I now have the Watermelon Infinity Gauntlet with all of the Infinity Stones inside. I will whap you into another dimension. Now, Justin, how much do you think we paid for this soda bottle cap? Hey, hey Adam, look, I can see myself. <laughs> now, Justin, how much do you think we paid for this soda bottle cap? <laughs> Now, Justin, how much do you think we paid for this soda bottle cap? Guess the price. <laughs> how much do you think we paid for this soda bottle cap? <laughs> okay, I would say this is one dollar. And we can move on to the next product right now, which is this soda waterfall machine. What? This is three cups. Yeah, so basically, this is a device where without the cups, it looks like this. Okay. And it allows you to have three drinks at once, so you can, like, drink like... Okay, well... Did you break another product? No, I'm just too strong, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. probably. I have been working out a flex lot. Flex really quick. Can you do a flex? Mm. Mm. Wherever your gym membership is, <laughs> you're getting scammed. <laughs> you can basically fill a different drink in each cup, and then when you drink like this, wait, it spills into this cup, no. and spills into this cup, and you get like a waterfall of all three. No way. Yeah, you want to try it? Okay, try it. So just to test if this works, I just filled it in the third one. Wait, is it working? Are you getting it? It actually works. Wait, it actually works. Dude, Dude, that oh, actually it, worked. It worked. Dude, if this works, yeah, this is gonna totally this work. This is gonna work because I believe in myself. Three, two, one. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> 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 I knew it wouldn't work. You are so clumsy. I am not clumsy. Yeah, you oh, are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If I was clumsy, could I pull off an advanced cup trick shot? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh! That was just luck. Are you kidding me? Oh! Now you are officially a cuphead, and you're back to looking like the monkey from Aladdin. <laughs> Ow! How are you doing this? Hey, little Abu boy. Little ABB. <laughs> we look like uh, the episode of SpongeBob. Now, just how much do you think we paid for this soda waterfall? I would say this is $15. Okay, we're going to go to the next product right now, which is this magic egg cooker. What? Now, this allows you to take a normal egg and make it into all these really cool shapes, like a heart or a star or a square. Wait, this is sick. So, how do you do this? Now, I genuinely don't know because all the instructions are not in English. Uh, okay, so the first step it says is to take this thing. Okay. Oh, oh, that's cool. And then you can extract the yolk. Oh, that's it. Wait, oh. wait, no. The no, no, no. The yolk is fine. It's fine. Do not let that thing fall. That was close. Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. We're gonna fill these with the egg whites. Okay. And then you take these, you open these. Oh, oh and then you fill this with the egg yolk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then it says to put these in some hot water, like cook them in, like boil these in some water, and then they'll be ready. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, we they're just, cooked. We cooked them. Ew! <laughs> no! Wait, all that work? Wait, let me see if all of them are okay. This is the dumbest kitchen product <laughs> we have ever looked at. <laughs> Now, just how much do you think we paid for this dumb egg cooker? I would say this is $5. Okay, that's it. So let's get into the answers. Starting with the panini making, that was $35. That was $35. Okay. Then we had the popcorn cooker, which you thought was $25. That was $25. Let's go. Then we had the soda bottle caps, you thought were $1. That was $1. Okay. Then we had the magic cups, which you thought were $15. That was $15. Okay. And then we had the egg shaped cooker, which you thought was $5. That was $5. Let's go. Which means Justin won. He gets to spin the wheel. Let's see what his prize is. Comment below some prizes you want us to have next. Okay. Okay, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta put the color changing putty into the panini maker. Okay, let's go. Okay, so the original colors are green, orange, purple, and a different shade of purple. Okay, let's just throw them on. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! Wait, hey, that's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go again. Dude! Wait, what was that before? I don't even know. Uh, wait, one of these was purple. Nice. I don't understand. That's crazy. Okay. okay, it's smoking? Yes, you've had your fun wait, with what? turning this off. Oh, let's see what I want. I'm popping and locking. Infinity gauntlet. Watch out for the soda. <laughs> 
Okay. okay. If Justin waits, he gets to eat an iPhone. Perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna come back in with Adam's panini phone. Which already has a bite out of it yes. from you. And I got some nice fresh cheese. I cannot believe I'm about to eat Adam's iPhone. There we go, here we go. Uh, How does it taste? <laughs> Marshmallow helmet. What? What? No. Okay, Marshmallow is a really popular DJ and this is his helmet. Marshmallow sent us his helmet. Stop. This isn't his helmet. Let me show you how this works. Oh it God. came with this button. Uh, okay. Now when I click this, it literally oh. lights up. Wait, what? Like Marshmallow. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a DJ. <laughs> Usually I'm just eating PBNJs. <laughs> Wait, is that the real Marshmallow? Yes. And I actually have an official Marshmallow app what? that you can use to make music. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Let me see some hands. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Damn, Adam! I'm damn it, Marshmallow! <laughs> now, Adam, what? You have gotten me this awesome Marshmallow helmet. I gotta get you something. Okay, cool. So I've actually now brought in some marshmallows. And now, with these marshmallows, I've actually gone ahead and melted some of them for you here. Okay. Oh, man, look at that, man. Once I put on this marshmallow helmet, I will now open no. the marshmallow DJing app and make you a liquid marshmallow marshmallow phone game. Wait, 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 okay, wait. Okay, so here's, wait. The, here's Adam's phone. Three. Isn't it gonna get all sticky? Two. Wait. What? No, just yeah. Yeah. No! Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at this awesome phone case. Dude. Dude. Ow, it's hot. Dude. Dude. Ow. Dude. Look at Adam's iPhone. Ow. Dude. What? I can't DJ anymore. My hands are getting are you stuck kidding together. Me? Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Who is it? Yeah, hello. Is that the real marshmallow? No way. You want to do a collab <laughs> with yourself? Marshmallow feet, marshmallow. Now I'm going to play a show. Um, let me see some hands. Okay. I want you to be happier. This isn't very good. I'm getting stickier. <laughs> Whoa. I'm a marshmallow magician. I will now make Adam's phone levitate. Oh, this is Sick. Okay, okay. Are you good? My hands are now completely glued to the marshmallow phone. Right, and you're gonna wash it? I'll have to eat my way no, out. No, Justin, ah, that's disgusting. Ah, okay, I'm gonna take my phone back. Okay. Now, how much do you think we paid for this marshmallow helmet? I mean, this is pretty cool with the lights and everything. I might say this is $30. Okay, now wait, real quick. You have these marshmallows, right? Yeah. I know a lot of people have wanted to see us play that game called Chubby Bunny uh, where you like put marshmallows in your mouth. You want to try that at the end? Okay, you're on. Okay, watch the full video if you want to see both of us try and play Chubby Bunny. But for now, let's get into the next crazy Amazon product, which is this ping pong battle. Okay, okay. what is this? This game is so sick. Now, let me show you how to play. Okay, okay. Basically, it's like playing ping pong with yourself. Huh? Okay, so it comes with a ball here, right? Okay. Oh, whoa. You push in on this. Uh-huh. Our current record is 13. Okay, 13. then you put the ball right uh -huh, here. Uh -huh. You click this little thing, uh -huh. and then you start playing. Watch. Whoa! Wait, what? And you try and hit it on either side as many times as you can. That's oh, no! Score, so I hit 11 times. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. The Wait, you think you 13. can beat me? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not that <laughs> arrogant. Okay, okay can you beat 13? 13. 13. Here we go. <laughs> Are you kidding? Huh? Score. What was that? You got a score of zero. I got a score of one, he said. Really? Yeah. Why did you hit it so hard? Not the, I'm the try my hardest. <laughs> okay, this time, maybe try using 1% of your muscle power and then more of your brain power. Hey, Adam, what's that over there? What's what? <laughs> That's cheating. Score 55. 
55! Yeah, but that's cheating! How is that cheating? You're supposed to use the ping pong ball. That's like playing bowling, and instead of rolling a bowling ball, you just walk down and knock them all over with that's your not, hands. That's not how you play bowling? <laughs> Have you been playing it wrong the whole time? You're playing it wrong. <laughs> I want to see you win fair and square. Oh, yeah. Well, you're going to try with a marshmallow? Oh, yeah. You think you can beat me with a marshmallow? Justin! <laughs> And how much do you think we paid for this ping pong battle game? <laughs> I would say that was $25. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next product right now, which is this soccer mug. What? Okay, now a normal mug is just like a normal mug, right? Yeah. But with this one, you can literally play soccer. Look, oh. it has a net like built oh, in. You can play soccer with this? Well, yeah, oh, like okay, no, no, cool, Justin, cool. don't kick it. <laughs> So basically, as it shows on the packaging, you're supposed to fill it with like some hot cocoa or yeah. coffee or water or whatever. And then you can like throw marshmallows into the net and like try and get them in. Okay, hold it. I'll throw I'll throw a marshmallow okay. in. Okay. Okay, here we go. No, I don't trust it. What? Not this marshmallow. Oh, what What do you mean? Like then? the food. The food marshmallow. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. try and like do like a cool trick shot. No, just oh! Okay, I'm now gonna do an advanced off the wall into the cup trick shot. There's no way. Here we go. Ow! <laughs> Whoa! Ow. Okay. Ow! Ow. Ow. Justin! Oh, I'm getting closer! Oh! Wait! Okay, okay! Now, how much do you think we paid for this? Soccer mug. This is pretty nice, but it is just a mug. I would say $10. Okay, we're gonna go to the next product right now, which is this real flying drone. What? Okay, now there's a little guy right here, <laughs> and using this, you can literally make it fly. Whoa, wait! Oh, wait! Oh, 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 oh. Wait, no, oh, Justin! Oh. Let me try this again. Okay. Oh, wait! Dude. That's literally flying. Guys, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Try and land him in the soccer mug. Oh, yeah. Do it. No way. Do and it. Then, it's like playing a crane game in real life. Oh. 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 Stop. Still going. Stop. You can do it, little guy. Oh! No. Troll! <laughs> Dude, we might hire him for the Justice Spy Agency. You could give a note to him. He could pass it for you. That might actually work. Let's try it. Okay, we have one of Adam's notes what from an say? earlier episode. It says, do you want to be? <laughs> be my date. Okay. Lol. Okay, I'm going to tape it to the little guy. Three, two, one. Lift off. Oh, oh. struggling. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this guy just symbolized <laughs> life. a failure to launch. Okay, he's trying. Ow! <laughs> now, it didn't work with a piece of paper. Right. But what else could I use him for as a spy? What if I tried to tape Adam's no. iPhone to no, him? No, it's too heavy. No. It's just going to fall. No. Okay, he's up. He's running. I will now balance the phone on him. Justin, Three, that's not how two, physics one. work. Justin! Oh! Okay, now Justin, how much do you think we paid for this remote control guy? I mean, this is incredible. I might really say this is $40. Okay, we're gonna go to the next product right now, which is this Infinity Gauntlet Oven Glove. What? Okay, now you can use this in the kitchen, like if you need to grab like cookies out of the oven. I don't think Thanos <laughs> is hanging out in the kitchen making cookies. How do you think he got so ripped? True. He might have gone thick eating those cookies. <laughs> I just realized your hair is the same color as Thanos. I am Thanos. No, you're not. And now, Adam, it is time to go away. That's not going to work. You're going to try and snap me away, Justin? It's broken. No, Justin. Apparently, when you put this on, let's say you're baking like some hot food, like a corn dog, right? Oh, okay. Oh, Normally, okay. when you pick up a corn dog, it's real hot. <laughs> Now, when you have the Infinity Gauntlet Oven Glove, you can pick up the corn dog and eat it, and it's not hot, and you look really cool. Yeah, true. That's it. What? <laughs> huh? I took a bite. I'm not yeah, that where's hungry. Where's the bite? I'm not that hungry. Oh, Haven't you damn. seen the movie? He does this like oh, the whole time. Oh, what? You saw a version of Avengers? <laughs> 
Where Thanos is holding a corn dog? That's not the real one. <laughs> Maybe my mom and me went to the wrong theater. <laughs> Justin, how much do you think we paid for this infinite gauntlet oven glove? Okay, now this is... <laughs> Justin. I would say this is $15. Okay, that's it. So let's get into the answers. For the marshmallow helmet, you thought that was $30. That was $30. Okay. For the ping pong game, you thought that was $25. That was $25. Let's go. For the soccer mug, you thought that was $10. That was $10. Okay. For the drone guy, you thought that was $40. That was $40. Okay. And for the infinity gauntlet, you thought know, that was $15. That was $15. Let's go. Which means Justin got all of them right. He gets to spin the wheel. Let's see what his prize is. Come and blow some prizes. Do you want us to have next? Wait, Adam, before we spin the wheel, you said you want to play Chubby Bunny. That is true. Okay, let's go. Okay, you first. One, Chubby Bunny. Chubby, <laughs> chubby Bunny. Two, Chubby Bunny. <laughs> chubby Bunny. Three, yeah, three. Chubby Bunny. Chubby <laughs> Bunny. Chubby Bunny. <laughs> Hit it on either side as many times as you can. Okay, if Justin wins, he gets to give Adam's phone a bath. Okay. I just finished cleaning my phone. It does not need a bath. Okay, I filled no. up the soccer mug with some water. Why? Put it, do a little dip, and then do a trick no, shot. No, Justin! Ramen cooker. Wait, what? Now, you've had ramen before, right? I love ramen. Now, this machine will cook your ramen for you. The water's, like, boiling. Okay. Okay, I'm going to switch it to low. Okay, I'm going to add in the ramen. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And then we just let this cook. Okay, let's try it. Let's go. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, I actually used this machine and made my own black pig ramen. Now, this has Jenny on it. It has pink ramen. It's got the black pink logo. You really pulled that out as I was eating. I almost choked. <laughs> this is so cool. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Yeah, I made it using the ramen cooker. Okay, this is pretty legit. Okay, we gotta go in for a bite of this. Oh, man. Mm. Okay, okay. Chef Adam, mastermind, made something good. This ramen cooker is actually nice. So you made a black, pink, Jenny bowl of ramen? Yeah. Ha! I made my own ramen, actually! Da, 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 da. No. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Ramen, or as you can see, it's ramen <laughs> with RM's name in it. Wow. That's pretty nice, huh? You couldn't just let me make this and have my own little thing? You had to try and one-up me? Yes, I did. I have an inferiority complex. Okay, well, we... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so so wait, wait. You think your RM ramen is better than my Jenny ramen? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Because I made the noodles purple like RM's hair in the Not Today video. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What is so funny? This is actually so good, I almost immediately became deceased and choked on it. I'm gonna be honest, I think my Jenny ramen looks cooler. But yeah, hey, you guys let us know which ramen you would prefer. Take that back, the Adam. Pink, the black pink ramen or the RM ramen? <laughs> take it back. I'm not gonna take it back. I'm not gonna lie. All the ramen we've made from the ramen cooker is legit. This is pretty crazy, guys. It's pretty sick. Let us know which one you guys like better. Hey, let's go. Now, Justin, I'm gonna need you to guess the price on the ramen cooker. How much do you think we paid for this? I would say $20. Okay, Justin, get a lock in $20. And we're gonna move on to the next product right now, which is this muffin core. Muffin? <laughs> so this allows you to take the center off a muffin and put anything you want in it. So I got myself a nice big blueberry muffin <laughs> and I'm gonna use this to add chocolate into the middle of it. Wait, what? Yeah, so watch. So I'm gonna take the muffin core and stick it in the center. Oh, 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 that's actually kind of satisfying. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's got a little hat. That makes no <laughs> sense. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out of the oh, muffin. Okay. Then I'm gonna push out the muffin core. Wait, that's kind of cool. Oh, wait, that's so much chocolate now there's actually just chocolate 
all the way in there. Wait, that's kind of crazy. And then I'm gonna plug the <laughs> hole. <laughs> And now you can't even tell. <laughs> you just have a chocolate-filled muffin. Going for a big bite. This is amazing. Okay. Oh! Wait! That looks so good. Wait, can you guys see that? That's amazing. Okay, this looks so gooey in real life. That's crazy. You could actually, like, rip off pieces of the muffin and, like, dip it in the middle. Oh my gosh. Dude, this product is amazing. That's so good. I wonder what else it would work on. I'm glad you asked. I'm actually going to come in with a burger. Wait. You, know, you already know where this is going. Wait. Oh, man. If this works. If this works, okay. I'm going to be short. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take the muffin corer and see if I can push it through this burger. Oh, oh. No way. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh. oh. It worked. And then, and, then, and then I'm actually gonna take some fries. No. Justin's really making a fry stuffed burger. No, hey Adam, hey, hey, I'm living in 3019 right now. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, Look guys, at how guys, good that looks. This might be one of the best looking foods we've ever made on this show. Woo! This is like oddly satisfying. I don't know what it is. You gotta go in for a big bite. I gotta bite all the way to the fries. <laughs> yeah. Are you insane? I've been training for this bite <laughs> my whole life. <laughs> Get there! How is it? Are you are you okay, Justin? <laughs> <laughs> it's 2019! 2019! Dude, I actually think you went into the future there for a couple bites. I saw myself in the future. <laughs> and what, how did you look? Well, I had been eating these the whole time, so I was like super thick. <laughs> okay, once again, let us know which one you would prefer, my muffin cord or Justin's burger fry I mean, thing? they're both really good. Yeah. Now, Justin, how much do you think we paid for this muffin cord? I mean, it's pretty small. I would say $5. Okay, just gonna lock in $5. And we're gonna move on to the next product right now, which is this donut toaster. <laughs> okay, now, you've used a toaster before, right? <laughs> when I saw this, Adam, my mouth turned into a donut. I said... <laughs> <laughs> You've eaten donuts before, right? Yes, I have. Have you ever toasted your own donuts? No, I have not. Do you want to get your donuts toasted? Yeah! Okay. Let's go! Okay. It's a normal toaster, uh -huh. but on the inside, they have these, like, donut <laughs> molds. So you fill this with donut batter and put it in the toaster. So I'm going to add in some donut batter. Then I'm going to close this up. Okay, okay, I'm going to put mine in here. Now you can make yours. Wait, you are making a donut, right? Yeah. Well, what if I just come in with some cookie dough? How long was that in your shirt? Don't worry about that. <laughs> and then I'm actually making cookie dough donuts. Okay. Cookie donuts. You already said that. Cookie dough, <laughs> dough, dough, donuts. Okay, here we go. I'm going to push it down. Oh, okay. okay. I think they're done. Oh, wait, they're hot. They're really hot. Ah, it's hot. Okay, okay. Like me. Three, two, one. Oh! Wait, no! What, <laughs> what is this? Okay, okay, first let's try Adam's. <laughs> the soupy one. <coughs> Tastes like a soup. It's not bad. Like a sweet soup. Now let's try your cookie donut. Oh, my, oh, my. oh. That is so good. That is actually so good. <laughs> Let's go! That's Let's so go. good. Let's go! Now, Jess, how much do you think we paid for this donut toaster? This is a very specialty product. I would say $30. Okay, Jess, gonna lock in 30. And we're gonna move on to the next product right now, which is this hot dog dicer. Wait, what? So this is a product that allows you to, like, chop up a hot dog in a really satisfying way. Okay, okay. Okay, so watch. Okay, ready? <laughs> Three, two, three. One. Oh! oh! And then you're left with like chopped up hot dog? Is that all this thing does is chop hot dogs? Well, yeah. Wait, if it can chop hot dog, could it chop a corn dog? Maybe. Because corn dogs have hot dogs inside. Here we go. Three, two, one. 
Wait, you almost got your face diced off. This machine needs to know I am not a hot dog. I am not trying to get diced. Adam, your little machine almost killed me. I'm sorry. I'm actually sorry. Let me try. How dare you? Uh, uh, huh? Ah, ow. Whap. <laughs> what? Stop whapping me. Now, Justin, how much do you think we paid for this dog dicer? I'm really going to have to lock this in at $15? Okay, Justin's going to lock in $15. And we're going to move on to the next product right now, which is this fun straw. <laughs> so this allows you to make Yo, a straw. How did they get this photo of you, Adam? <laughs> what? This allows you to make a straw that you can, like, have go anywhere. Using this, I actually made... My very own. Oh! Wait, what? Raw. Wait, wait, this is sick. So I can literally be over here, and if I just bring in like a drink, take this end in there. No way. And I'll drink from this end. Watch. No way. Oh! Oh! No way! Did it make it? Yeah? Dude, this straw is so long, I bet it could actually go around. Oh! It went around that big neck! Really? Could it go twice? No, it cannot. No, it did! <laughs> that's crazy! Okay, see if you can drink it now. Wait, that's crazy! It actually works! Okay, okay, here I go. Oh! Now, Justin, how much do you think we paid for these fun straws? I would say these are $10. Okay, Justin, you're gonna lock in $10. Okay, that's it, so let's get into the answer. Starting with the ramen cooker. <laughs> Justin, you thought that was $20. Yes. We paid $20. Let's go! Then we had the muffin core, which you thought was $5. This was $5. Let's go! Then we had the donut toaster, which you thought was $30. This was $30. Nice! And then we had the hot dog darts, which you thought was $15. This was $15. No! Then we had the fun straws, which you thought was $10. These were $10. Let's go! Justin actually won, so you get to spin the wheel. Comment below some prizes you want us to have next. Let's see what I won. You couldn't just let me make this and have my own little thing? Yes, I did. I have an inferiority complex. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. nice. If Justin wins, he gets to make Adam a B. Okay, let's go! Okay, nice, nice, Wait, nice! Why cool. are you in the B costume? What am I gonna wear? Adam, I have this other one for you. Here you go! Wow! Justin, why do I have to be a girl bee? Adam, you're the queen bee. It's an honor. You need to actually behave. You need to actually behave! <laughs> Stop! Stop. What? 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 Coffee art set. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We right? Have, I've seen these before on another show we did. Yeah. These are the limited edition... BTS cold brew coffee. Right? How okay, we got the RM one and the V one, and this time they're not expired. Okay, I'm <laughs> excited now. So wow. if you guys have ever ordered like a latte from a coffee shop, you might recognize some of these types of things where it's like the barista will add like an art on top of your coffee with like cinnamon or something. You know what oh, I'm talking really? about? No, no, I've never had that before. Really? No. Okay, well I'm about to make it and you're gonna guess the price of all this stuff. It's my first ever coffee art? Yeah. Let's go! Okay, so basically we're gonna pull Pour in some of the BTS coffee into the mug like this. Look at how aesthetic the packaging is. Look at how good they look. It looks if, really good. If, you, if they put us on a coffee, <laughs> people would not drink that. <laughs> okay, so you pour the coffee in here. Uh -huh. Then you add some cream on top. Then you take one of these stencils, which you can kind of see through. Uh -huh, it has uh -huh. different shapes. Uh -huh. They have like a heart and like a panda. Like a Which panda. one do you want to use? Do the heart first. Okay, so we're going to take the heart. You take some cinnamon. Yes. And you sprinkle it like this. Uh-huh. Oh, and then it leaves it in the shape of the stencil. Oh! Right? And using these, we made a custom BTS latte. What? That's crazy. You guys, look at how cool this looks up top. Can you guys see that? It's oh. the logo on the phone. Going for a sip. Are you sure? Yeah. This is art. How does it taste? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Guys, I'm not allowed to have caffeine. And this might be the best coffee I've ever drank in my life. Cause it has the BTS logo and members. You guys. This is ah! nuts. I'm getting too hyped. I want to make one. You want to make I, one? I want to make okay, one. Okay, I'll move the BTS coffee to the side. Wow. Now you get to use the V coffee. Oh man. Or, oh, or, or oh. coffee. More like cough. Cough V. Okay, uh, we're gonna edit that out of the episode. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this in here. Uh huh. And then. That looks good. I'm gonna add in some foam. 
Let's see, we got a panda, we got a smiley face. I'm gonna choose the smiley face because okay. this is how I feel right now after drinking that coffee. <laughs> okay. I'm, okay. I'm going with the cinnamon. Okay. Oh man, did it work? Here we go, three, two, one. Oh! What? Wow. This coffee That's sick. is as happy as I am right now. <laughs> now Justin, how much do you think we paid for just these stencils? Not the coffee itself, just these. Hmm. They're pretty nice, I'm gonna say $10. $10, okay, Justin's gonna lock in $10 on the coffee art and we're gonna move on to the next product right now. And the next product is this mini corn dog maker. Wait, mini corn dog maker? This oh looks, yeah. This looks sick. Yeah, so you can open this up and you can see this is where we're gonna make the corn dog. Yo, okay, wait. So makes okay it's hot it's already it's hot, hot. It's yeah on. this makes six mini corn dogs easily yeah okay let's do it okay so justin what we're gonna do is take this plate of hot dogs uh-huh okay we're gonna take these sticks uh-huh uh -huh. and i want you to start sticking these in the hot dog okay, okay i did them then once you have this you take these and dip them in this corn dog batter corn dog batter just like this okay and then you put them in the corn dog machine like that oh it's sizzling already yeah okay, okay i want to do one do the rest uh for those of you guys who watch our content this pink bowl looks kind of familiar. Kind of looks like V's hair feel, in our zero budget. Uh, wait, you put this bowl on your head many times. Maybe. So I've eaten Adam's sweaty sushi. <laughs> now I'm about to eat some hairy hot dogs. Okay, okay then we're going to close this up like this. Okay. Okay, you ready, Justin? I'm very okay, ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! Uh, okay. Wait. Uh, 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 they look good. They look like they're great, but they're all stuck together. Yo! Oh, wait. Oh! Okay. Oh. I know it says it makes six mini corn dogs, but we might have just made one mega corn dog. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is sick. We got six actual mini corn dogs. These look really cool. I, I, I'm ready to eat. Are okay. you ready? Oh, yeah. Cheers. Okay. Wait, wait, the finishing touch. Some ketchup. Some ketchup. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Uh, I'm excited. Here okay. we go. Oh, wow. wow. That is actually so good. This is amazing! Wow. Now, Justin, how much do you think we paid for this corn dog maker? I think this is the most expensive product. I think this is $30. Really? I think so. Okay, that's gonna lock in $30. Let's move on to the next product right now, which is this magic unspillable glass. Unspillable glass? What yeah. do you mean? Mighty mug. What does that mean? Okay, it's the mug that will not fall over. How? Watch. It's okay. actually insane. Okay. So it looks like a normal mug, right? Yes. Pretty cool. Yes. I'm gonna put it right here. Uh huh. Push it from this side. Push harder. What? Push harder. Wait. Wait. It's not going anywhere. Wait. How now, did now it do watch, that? Now watch. I'm gonna pick it up nice and easy. There is nothing on the table. But when I set it down, watch. What? Yeah. Wait. How do? Wait. How does it? <laughs> now basically. What? Right. So it only comes up if you pick it up like this, but if you hit it from any side, it's not going I anywhere. I don't understand how that works because it's not even like suction. You just set it down. Like there's no force. Just watch. I'm just gently put it down. What? <laughs> What? Okay, so I just added some actual water uh -huh, to the cup. Uh -huh, now uh -huh. you have to try and make it spill. Wait, that's insane. It just won't spill. Ah! Ah! Actually, <laughs> if I transform into martial arts Justy, I might be able to tip this mighty mug over. Really? Ah! 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 Oh! What? Wait, 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 wait. This mug is insulting me in my <laughs> honor. I gotta do this. Ah, no. Oh. <laughs> Not so mighty now, are you? Okay, well, I guess it works. I guess it does feel if you just actually obliterate it. <laughs> if you put 100% of your strength into it. But wait, okay. Outside of that, this is... Honestly, one of the coolest products we've ever seen on this Unless show. you're like trying to make it fall, it won't fall. Now, Justin, how much do you think we paid for this unspillable mug? This is so sick. I'm gonna say $20. Really? Yeah, I think $20. Okay, Justin's gonna lock in $20. Let us know what your guess is. I'm gonna move on to the next product right now, which is this satisfying watermelon cutter. Satisfying watermelon cutter? How is it gonna satisfy me? Oh, well, you're about to find out. You All this does is you take a watermelon uh -huh. and you use this cutter like this. No. No way! You don't have to cut the watermelon first? Nope. You're just gonna push down. No way! Right. If this works, I'm gonna be shook. Okay. You ready? Three, yeah. two, one. No way! No! Oh, oh, are you serious? What? Are 
Are you serious? You guys! Wait! Look at that! No! <laughs> I'm shook! <laughs> this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And then you can just take the slices out and just eat them. Yeah! This is just really cool. Now, Justin, what do you think we paid for this watermelon cutter? I'm gonna say this is $15. Okay, Justin's gonna lock in $15 on the watermelon cutter. And we're gonna move on to the next product right now, which is this vegetable noodler. <laughs> Wait, what? So this product creates noodles from vegetables. Uh, do you like noodles? I, I love noodles. Do you like vegetables? Uh, well, this will turn a vegetable into a noodle. Okay. Okay, so okay. watch. So you take this gadget yeah, and you yeah. take a vegetable, yeah. a cucumber, you're gonna stick it in the top here. Uh huh. And then start to twist, and noodles will come out. Wait, what? Can you guys see that? Wait! That's actually so cool. That's ah. very satisfying. And then you're left with vegetable noodles. It's like a pencil sharpener. Whoa! For a vegetable. <laughs> this is a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, I know, right? And they'll taste like noodles, too. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, These going for a... vegetable. No, 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 they're noodles. These are noodles Yeah, now? going for a bite. Are you sure? Yeah. This looks a lot like a salad. No, 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 it looks like pasta, dude. It's gonna taste great. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, I trust you. <laughs> no! It's the return of salad head! No! Please! It's alive! It's off! <laughs> I'm draining my thickness! Oh no! <laughs> Actually, are you okay? I'm okay. Okay, now, Justin, I'm gonna need you to guess the price on this vegetable noodler. I mean, I, I have to lock this in at $2, <laughs> so I'm gonna say $2. Okay, that's gonna lock in $2 on the cucumber noodler. Okay, that's it, so we're gonna move on to the answer and see how you guys did, how Justin did, who gets to spin the wheel. Let's go. Starting with the BTS coffee art for just the stencils, you thought we paid $10, we paid $2. Oh! Then we had the corn dog maker, which you thought we paid $30 for. Correct, we okay. paid $30. Then for the unspillable cup, you thought we paid $20? Yes. We paid $20. Okay. Then we had the watermelon cutter, which you thought we paid $15, and we paid $15. Let's go. Then we had the veggie cutter, which you thought we paid $2 for, we paid $10. Oh um, man, okay, so I mixed up two of them. Exactly, uh. so that means I win, I get to spin the wheel. Let's see what my prize is. On the back of these faces are prizes that you guys have suggested in the comments, so let us know what prizes you want next. Let's go. Okay, let's see what my prize is, dude. Okay, Samantha says if Adam wins, he has to go on a date with Cookie. <laughs> oh, man. oh no. Listen, I am very sorry for what you're about to go through. <laughs> Cookie says, no, no, please, please, no. It's okay, you got this. High five, buddy. Okay, okay here you go. Cookie. Uh, hello, Cookie. Uh, would you like to date me? Uh, Cookie says, did you bring food for this first date? Uh, no. Uh, uh, in that case, he says, what kind of date is this? And he's gonna actually summon, uh, he's gonna summon uh, the BTS coffee, and, and, he, and, and he actually is gonna, uh, 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 it's a big target. Wasabi Oreo. What? This is real. What? We have just a little mini, like, taste test version yes. right here. So, we ordered this online, because I believe it's from China. I'm not 100% sure, but it came like this. What does it smell like? Uh, it just smells really weird. I you can't really tell. They look cool, though. Now, overall, wasabi is not one of my favorite foods. Interesting. It almost smells like green tea. It's just, yeah, it smells a little bit like matcha. It's got some green filling. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, wow. Let's this take is off really the top. cool. Okay, now, do you like wasabi in general? Yes, I do. Wasabi is very tasty. I like it on all kinds of foods. Okay, here, here we, we go. go. Ah. Oh, wow. Woo! That actually really does taste like wasabi. I even got a little bit of tingle. Yeah. Now, that doesn't taste like wasabi. Was It tastes like when you get like wasabi flavored like chips. Or yeah. Like, like this was weird because when I first bit, I was like, oh, this is kind of sweet. It tastes like matcha. Yeah, it tastes and like, it tastes the like green tea. And then aftertaste is all wasabi. It tastes like green tea at first. Yeah. And then the wasabi just, ah, <laughs> just jumps out at you. 
Yeah, I thought that was green tea at first. I was about to roast you. I was about to be like, Adam, you ordered the wrong products. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty serious. Okay, so knowing that we got these shipped in here, most yes. of these we did, but this one's extra rare. What do you think in terms of price? Well, I need to do a comparison first. Okay, on this side, I have one. I have the Oreos that Adam got, the, the, the wasabi ones. On this side, I have emptied out the filling from those, and I'm actually, I'm actually, I came loaded. <laughs> With my own wasabi, you know, I just keep a little on me. You never know when you're just gonna start eating sushi. You don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna make my own wasabi Oreo. Here we go. Ooh. Isn't this gonna burn? Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, the filling's just getting everywhere. Woo! Woo! Are you ready? Yeah. All right, cheers. Here we go. Here we go. Mmm! Mmm! Oh! Mm. Ah. 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 Oh! Ah. 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 Ow! 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 That was actually so painful, I had to ask both my friends to hold my hand. <laughs> That was bad, my nose. Oh man, okay, Justin, what are you thinking in terms of a price on this one? Like I said, we bought this online. I don't even think you can get this in America. <laughs> I would say because I know you bought these online, $20 seems fair. $20 for the wasabi Oreos? Okay, Justin, gonna lock that in, okay? Oh, uh, I got a headache. Which brings us to our next product right now, which is <laughs> this Love Oreo what? Limited Edition. Okay, so this uh, might have been for Valentine's Day, I'm not quite sure. Uh -huh. But this is a sweet and tangy love flavor. Oh. So perhaps uh, this might help you get a girlfriend if you eat these? Uh, I don't know if there's uh, any amount of Oreos in the world that's gonna help me get a girlfriend. <laughs> I'll try these out. Are you looking for a girlfriend right now? Re really, I'm just interested in these Oreos right now. <laughs> wow, these smell really good. It smells like uh, like strawberry or something. Yeah, it smells like a, a sweet and tangy fruit. Yeah, wow. Okay. I like the color. Wow. Overall, yeah. Let's. Uh, okay, so it says XOXO Oreo on the actual cookie. That's really cool. Mine says Let's Twist. <laughs> okay. Why is that funny? <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> huh? <laughs> wow, that's actually really good. Mm. Mm. It's like a normal Oreo, except for with like a slight strawberry taste. Mm-hmm. Right? Like a cherry taste. Mm-hmm. But actually, when I just took a bite, what is so funny? <laughs> <laughs> when I took a bite of that love Oreo, I actually... Ah! <laughs> uh, ah! Uh, I'm transforming! Now, just off that one bite! <laughs> I'm actually growing wings. I'm actually transforming into Cupid Justin. We actually got the love arrow. I'm actually locked. I'm loaded. Cupid Justin protect. Cupid Justin attack. But most importantly, Cupid Justin eat snacks. I can prove that this works. Really? Yes, okay, a lot of the audience members lately have been, uh, let's say, roasting you. They've been saying, smack True. Adam, sit on Adam. So I'm gonna help them love you with the power of Justin Cupid. Okay, so now the audience will now fire this arrow at you, and now they will like you. Ready? No. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did not mean I <laughs> Why would you just I got know. done apologizing for all the times I was sat on and then you shot me in the neck with this arrow? Are you actually okay? I did, oh. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Does the audience like me now? <laughs> I, I kinda. <laughs> I could not. Kinda. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I promise I did not mean to do that. That is crazy. To be fair, the chance of me hitting your neck is very high. It's a very, ah, it's a big target. Is all I'm saying. Okay, Justin. Okay. I'm gonna need you to make a guess on these love Oreos. Stop laughing. I just can't believe that happened when we got it on video. I did not try to do that on purpose. I promise. I feel really bad. Your neck is turning really red. I feel oh, bad. I wonder why. I feel bad. I wonder I, why. I feel bad. I'm sorry. 
but that was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say five dollars. Five dollars on the love Oreos. Okay, Justin's gonna lock this in. Make sure to play along at home. See how you're doing. We're gonna move on to the next product right now, which are these incredibly rare jelly donut limited edition Oreos. Donuts. So these are incredibly rare. Apparently, we had to get these online. They're jelly flavored jelly donuts. Jelly donut Oreos. So we're gonna go and open them up. We'll see. Whoa, whoa! Careful, careful. Donut Ripsies. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the jelly donut Oreos. Oh man, these look so cool. I'm so dead. These look so cool. Guys. Guys. <laughs> okay, that's actually crazy. Whoa. That looks sick. All right, I'm going in for a bite. Okay. Oh, it sm smells amazing. I like this one. This is good. Mm. It, this tastes really good, but this is really stale. Now, I believe when ordering these online, these were about two years expired. Cause <gasps> I think these- You tell me that after I take a bite? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need a guess for you on this one. I'm gonna put these at the highest price I can. I'll put them at 30. $30? $30? Okay, $30. on the jelly donut. Justin's gonna lock that in. That's gonna bring us to our next product right now, which are these spicy chicken wing Oreos. I'm not making this up. Wow. Guys, these smell like actual chicken wings. That's insane. These are real. These are real. These are not, not a, a prank. Oh. It's a little bit like cat food. Adam, don't not make me eat this. Please. I know I shot you in the neck. I know I made you eat wasabi. But please, don't make me eat you this. You gotta go in for a big bite. All right, all right. We're going in. Here we go. Okay, this is a really interesting cookie because not only is it stale, it tastes like you're eating like dry ramen. Yeah, you know? it tastes like when we taste tested the spicy chicken chips. Yeah. It tastes like that. Minus the everything good about that. Knowing that you got these online yeah. and these are so rare, I don't think these could be $3. I'm gonna say 25. 25, 25. for these. Yeah. All right, that's gonna bring us to the final Oreo right now, which is this limited edition hot and spicy cinnamon Oreo. Oh man. Okay, uh, so this is. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm be, be honest. These look great and all, but my stomach right now feels a little bit queasy. We ate wasabi Oreos twice. We ate a two year old jelly donut Oreos. We ate hot chicken wing Oreos. I'm not the biggest fan of cinnamon, but we're gonna do this anyways. Ah. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, Woo! this gives me a lot of similar vibes to the wasabi one. I do like the color. It's very, very bright. It's yeah. Very in your face. Okay, well, let's just get into the tasting. Tastes exactly how you think it would taste. Just like a tuna stick of gum. That's cinnamon. Oh, I don't like ah, that. Woo! The aftertaste, not great on this one. No. If you like cinnamon, I'm sure this is very tasty. Um, but for me, I, I'm not a fan of this one. Okay, Justin. I'm gonna need you to lock in a price. Now you only have one option left, The only left, price right? I have left is $3, and I feel very confident, because these don't say limited edition, these don't say anything special, they just taste like cinnamon Oreos. Yeah, except for they say limited edition. Oh, they, oh. But it's okay, Jess is gonna lock in $3. Cinnamon! I was wrong! <laughs> <laughs> That's it, so we're gonna move on to the answers and see how Justin did and how you guys did. Let's get into it. The wasabi Oreo, Justin guessed $20 on these. These were actually $20. Are you being serious? Yes. Yeah. Guys, let's go! We paid $20 for these, so they're apparently new in China, but you still can get them online. Even so, though I didn't really do, like, my stomach didn't do well on this episode, I did pretty well on this episode! So far. Yes. So far. Yes. Next were these Love Oreos. Justin guessed five. These were actually the $3. So close. These are actually really common. Why you do this to me? Why? Next, we had the jelly donut Oreos. Justin, you did well, man. These were $30. Uh, I would have won if it weren't for the cinnamon love. Yeah. Ah. Ah. This one was really rare. I They don't make these anymore, so we had to get them these online. These actually tasted good. They were just two years expired. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Kinda so sick. these were the 30. Next was the spicy chicken wing Oreo, which we paid $25 for these. I'm on a roll. Let's go. And finally, we had the hot and spicy cinnamon, which we paid $5 for. We had to get these online. Why? 
Why you do this to me? So I get to spin the wheel today. <laughs> On the backs of these are your guys' comments for some prizes. I get to spin it because I won. Let's go. Oh, oh, you stop laughing. Okay, whoa! Okay, this is a real comment that you guys left. How you feeling? I feel so sick right now. <laughs> Crystal says, for the next video, Justin's reward should be hit Adam with the next thing he touches. Be careful what you touch, Adam. How is this a be reward for me? Be careful what you touch. Don't oh, 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 oh! Ah, 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 ah. I do this for you, the viewers. Please don't hit me, stop. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, what do we do, man? Me and Boxy are scared. I got an idea. Okay, here you go, Foxy. Damn, that's a nice one. Justin, how is eating donuts gonna help us escape Piggy? Adam, don't not worry about that. <laughs> Justin, focus. Wait, I have an idea. Maybe Piggy is hungry. What? Uh, Piggy! Piggy! Justin, no, no, Piggy's gonna get you! Piggy! Piggy, here, look here! Piggy, you want a donut? No, no, ju no, Justin, run! Piggy! You want a donut? Take it! Did that possibly work? <laughs> Pink Squad, yeah! Get the Boxy and Foxy plushie at lankyboxshop.com.